News Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us now. Lenny, how's the family of Yitzian Torres Garcia hoping to get answers tonight? Well, the ATF and FBI have both increased their rewards. So now Crime Stoppers offering $25,000 for any information that could lead to an arrest. And there were several witnesses that night, but police still pressing the community for answers. So over the last year, the family has been coping with pain, heartache and worn down resignation after a night of celebration on the 4th of July turned deadly. Tampa police says they were called to a boat ramp near the Courtney Campbell Causeway after two groups argued over jet skis driven too close to the shore. The argument led to gunfire with a bullet going through Yitzion Torres Garcia's grandfather, killing the seven year old boy days before his birthday. You know what, me to call his mom to tell her this, and it's not my fault. But sometimes I feel that they're going to think it's my fault because I didn't protect my grandson. We need to get the people that did this for my baby. He was only seven years old. And tonight that plea continues. The family will be joining the police chief tomorrow for a news conference at the Tampa Police Headquarters at 1.30 p.m. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.